Here's how to live stream like a pro using StreamYard. In this complete StreamYard tutorial, we're gonna take you through step-by-step -step how to use it, plus share why we think StreamYard is one of the best live streaming software right now. Now there's been some pretty big updates since our last StreamYard tutorial. So we'll be packing in some of those new features into this one too, but also know that StreamYard works really well on both computer and on mobile devices. So I'm gonna take you through the process on using it on a desktop, but the process is pretty much exactly the same on mobile too. Okay, guys, so we're over here on StreamYard. You wanna go up to the top right hand corner hit get started if you don't have an account yet or if you've already got an account like I do we're gonna hit login you want to enter your account email and hit get login code that's gonna email you out a six digit code that is your password you want to enter that in the box hit login and you are inside of StreamYard now up in the top right hand corner you've got your my account area over on the left you've got your broadcast which is what we're seeing here now any upcoming live streams will be listed out in here along with any past live streams too under videos is where you can see all your recorded videos from the platform destinations is where we can set up all the places that we want to go live to because one of the standout features in StreamYard is having the ability to go live to multiple places is all at once. So you can see already I've got my Facebook profile here, I've got my Facebook page added here, we can go ahead and add our YouTube channel too. And by the sounds of things we'll have Instagram as an option in here in the very near future. So I'm going to go YouTube channel, we'll go ahead and authorize that and sign into our YouTube channel and that now shows up as a destination that we can broadcast to. Below that is members, this is where you can access and assign different team members giving them access to your account with some further team settings down the bottom left corner here. But let's go ahead and set up a broadcast. So we're gonna come back to broadcast, let's go create a broadcast. And straight away we get to choose if we wanna create a new broadcast, which is a live stream, or if we wanna use a pre-recorded video. We're gonna create a new broadcast. We can then select the destination or where we wanna broadcast live to. Again, I've got my personal profile, the Primal Video page, and our YouTube channel. Now we can actually select on multiple options here to broadcast to multiple platforms. We also have the option to choose record only, so you can use StreamYard just for creating regular videos as well. So let's go ahead now and just select, say, our YouTube channel. And you can see here we get the ability to enter a title, a description, and we can set the privacy of that stream, public, unlisted, or private. Now, if we select Facebook as well, we can see that we can enter a title and description for Facebook too. But it doesn't necessarily need to be the same title and description. Down the bottom here, we can actually customize this up for each destination. So we could pick YouTube here, then enter a description and title just for YouTube. And then over on Facebook, we might wanna call it something else. So it's awesome that you've got that capability in here. Now for this preview, I am going to deselect Facebook. We're just gonna go ahead with YouTube. I am going to change my settings here to be an unlisted stream. And we're gonna going to call this test stream. Now if you don't want to go live straight away you can actually schedule your streams for later by checking this box and then we can choose the time that we want our live stream to happen. We can also upload a thumbnail image here too so we're able to set up the complete live stream all from within StreamYard. I'm going to uncheck that I'm going to go back to create broadcast. So from there, you'll have to allow permissions so that the web browser here can access your camera and your microphone. So you wanna go ahead and approve that no matter which browser you're using. And then a preview of our webcam is going to show up down here. So because I've got multiple webcams selected, I'm gonna choose settings. I'm gonna come over here to camera and then I'm gonna select which camera I want. So I'm gonna pick this one here, which is you up here. Hey, I'm on camera. And we can also choose our camera resolution here too. I'm gonna to choose 1080, cause that's what this webcam is. And now we're gonna go back over to the general area. And in here we can choose our actual broadcast quality of the stream. Now this is one that will be dependent on which plan you're on with StreamYard as to whether you have access to 1080p live streaming or just 720. And then there's a bunch of things in here that you can customize up if you'd like. Normally these default settings are going to be fine for most people, but you've got things in here like being able to record a separate audio file for each guest. So if you are someone who does want to repurpose your content, then that could be a good one to have on. Okay, so we've selected our camera. Let's go down to audio. Again, we get to choose which microphone we want to use. So for this one, I'm just going to pick the built-in microphone on my Mac. We can see that that is working there now. And for speaker, in case we're going to bring in a guest, we can choose how we want to hear them. Again, for the purposes of this one, I'm gonna choose just the built-in speakers on my Mac. But normally you'd probably be selecting a set of headphones so that there's no echo. But speaking of echo, great segue, Justin, there is also echo cancellation built in here as well. So if you don't have the ability to use headphones to cancel out any echo or feedback, there is noise suppression and echo removal built into StreamYard too. 
Now, unless you are running a more professional setup where you are manually adjusting your microphone volume levels, then I would recommend that you're leaving this box checked so it's automatically going to adjust your microphone volumes for you. Now, we're not gonna go through every setting in here because there is a lot, but the next area down here, virtual background, will help you remove the background in your video or blur it. So we can blur the background here. Now, you actually can't adjust how much blur is applied, um, but you also can swap out the background, again, without the need for a green screen. So there's a couple of presets in here or you can add your own background. Now if you are actually using a green screen or a blue screen then you will want to check this box here and get that set up in here too. Now the next one down is hot keys. Now this one is a relatively new addition for StreamYard and this will allow you to set up keyboard shortcuts or hot keys to trigger different things that can happen while you're live, while you're creating your broadcast. But this also means that you can use a switching device like the Elgato Stream Deck to action these things at a button press. So for those of you that are looking to create a more professional live stream, the Stream Deck is an amazing tool to help you do that and to streamline everything while you're live. And the last one down here, guests, you can see we've got options in here for the guests to be able to see the viewers' comments on or off. Again, I'd recommend that you just leave these as default. And you can also turn on things like having a sound play when the guest joins, like a doorbell so that you know that someone's joined, and also forcing them to authenticate before they join your stream too. I'm gonna close out of this one now, now that we have our webcam and audio sorted. We're gonna enter our name for the stream here. You can see it says Justin Brown down the bottom, and let's go enter studio. So what we're seeing now is the default StreamYard broadcast interface. This is the broadcast room. And straight away, it's saying to us down the bottom here, you're not part of the stream yet. Click to add your audio and video. If we click on that, then it will bring us up into the stream. Now, if you are someone who wants to do a more professional stream, you can actually now bring in multiple camera angles into here too. So if we come down the bottom here to share, we can add in an extra camera. We can pick what that is. Let's just choose here the FaceTime camera, the front camera in this laptop. And again, we get to choose the resolution. Let's go to share. So we can see now that we've got two different webcams that are added in here, and we can switch between them using these different presets or different layouts here so that we can change up the way that this looks. So whether we want just one on camera, we can also switch between them using the little solo layout button down the bottom here. So we can switch between the different camera angles. And at any time we don't want a camera on the stage and ready to present, we can just hover our mouse over it and press remove. And that is pushed back to, I guess, the greeting room, the waiting room. It's a video source that we can add back in at any time just by clicking on it. So down the bottom here, you've got your main controls to mute your microphone, stop your camera. We've got your settings down here as well, which is a lot of the settings that we just ran through before. You've got the share button down the bottom here where you can bring in slides and the slides can come in from Google Slides or slides from your computer. And it says here they support Google Slides, PowerPoint, and PDF. And if you are using Keynote, it gives you a workaround to get that working as well. And again, when they're added, they'll just show up as another video source down the bottom here. We can also share a video file, and we can also share the computer screen too. So if I go share screen, we can either choose our entire screen or we can choose a specific window or application. I'm gonna choose entire screen, let's pick screen number three and hit share. And again, that shows up as a source down the bottom here. So we can click on this to add it to the stream. And you can see we've still got our two video sources that are in here and we now have a screen share too. And again, we can switch between things with the different presets along the bottom here, allowing you to quickly jump between these different scenes and different layouts, different looks, literally with the click of a button. And again, if we wanna remove it from our stream, we've just got the remove button down the bottom here. Now the next one along is where you can go to invite your guest and I will get to that very, very soon but we're gonna customize up this interface first. So if we come across to the side here where it says brand and select on that, in here we can create brands or different groups of assets and templates and things that we can use for our live streams and for even different types of live streams as well. So you can see if we come up to the top here to this drop down, we've got brand one, we've also got primal video. So these are obviously test ones that we've set up or we can go ahead and create a new brand for our test video here. And then we can choose our brand color. Maybe for this one, it's some sort of yellow and we can choose the layout of our titles, what we want our titles to look like. Now to test these so we can see what they look like on screen, we can come back up here to comments and we can hit show on this test comment and that's now going to appear with then our branding colors yellow. So if we come back over here to the brand now and try these different themes, we can see what that can look like. We can also choose to show the display names for your guests and yourself on screen just with this toggle here. And then if we scroll down, we can add a watermark or a logo on here too. So the default is the StreamYard one there, but you don't need to use it if you're on one of the paid plans. We can upload our own logo here too. 
So let's go ahead and pick a Primal Video logo, select on that, and that is now uploaded. Again, we can turn it on and off just by clicking on it to enable it or disable it. The same goes for the overlays as well. There is a default overlay here. You can see it says live with StreamYard up the top and down the bottom, we've got our StreamYard show. Again, this is a demo one for you to show you what you can create, but you have the ability to upload your own templates and graphics and designs and stuff to really create the branded live stream that you're after just by coming down here and choosing add overlay. Then you can upload a transparent PNG or a graphic that you can use as an overlay to sit on top of your webcams and screen shares. So this is where you can create something totally custom or you could use a service like Streamer Templates which goes through and creates a lot of these templates and brands and things for you that you can then customize up to use specifically in StreamYard. And then we've got a free design there that you can download and play around with as well. So don't forget to check out the links down in the description for extra resources and tools like this. Now the next area down is video clips. So if you do wanna play back a video inside of your live stream or have a countdown timer at the start of it, this is where you can upload your own. There is a default countdown timer here, but if we click on this, then this is automatically going to play. So a lot of this customization you can either do before or you can trigger these things on and off while you're live as well. You can see how easy this is to dive in here while you're live and click on things and bring up different overlays, different templates and play video files all from within this simple interface. Now if we go back up here, let's turn off the StreamYard overlay. Let's hide that one. Let's hide the Primal Video one. Let's turn off our display name. Let's go back down here though and let's pick on the background so I can show you what that looks like. So right now with this shot here, we're full screen so we're not gonna see a background. But if we come down here and we change our layout to say one of these ones here where there is a background, then this is where we can see that. So if I click here on bubbles dark then we've now changed up the background so a lot of those templates and themes and things that you can get to use in here again from places like streamer templates you can just use them as background templates as well now if we keep scrolling down this is another new feature you can add background music to your streams now there is some presets in here for you or you can go ahead and add in your own music which you can upload directly into StreamYard. So that's the overall branding and the look and feel of your live stream. If we come back up here though to banners, in here is where you can create while you're live or you can pre-configure beforehand any text or titles that you wanna use in your stream. Now you can categorize and group these into folders like I have here. So under Q&A banners, let's open this up. Then we've got some questions that we could bring up and ask our guests or our live stream viewers. So I just press on these. We've got questions like Mac or PC, Android or iOS coffee or tea. And all of these, again, we can just trigger while we're live, or we can customize up and create them while we're live as well. So we could quickly add a new one here, red or blue. And we can hit add banner. We can then select on that and that can be shown. Now with these as well, we also have the ability to create a scrolling banner across the bottom. So if we go here, test text, and choose scroll banner across the bottom. Let's go add banner. Then when we click on this one, it's going to have that banner with that scrolling text moving across the bottom. And then again, to hide these, we just wanna click on them again, and they are disabled. So really, really fast and easy. And then back up here under comments, this is where we can see all of our live stream comments from whatever platforms you're broadcasting to. So if you are broadcasting to multiple platforms, they're gonna all be aggregated in here for you. So you've got one place to look to see everything. And we can easily feature these on screen too, just by selecting on them. So if we click on this one here, this is an example comment. Um, and this is how it's going to show up with this particular brand and theme that we have set up. And again, to hide it, we just want to click on it again and it goes away. Now we can interact in the chat as well. Down the bottom here, we can post a comment and there is also a private chat for you to interact with your guests while you're live. So I'm gonna go ahead now and show you how to invite a guest. So we're gonna go down the bottom here to invite, click on this, we're gonna get a private URL. It says we can have up to 10 people on screen at once. We wanna grab this link, copy it or hit copy to clipboard. We wanna send this out or hand it out to anyone that we want to join our stream. Okay, so I've sent my link out and I got two people in the green room. So I'm gonna go ahead and hide one of my webcams here just so it goes back to full screen for me. Again, you can see how easy this is to jump around and do everything while you're live. But I have Ellie and Mattia from Primal Video Team in the green room here. So again, I can chat with them over on the side here in private chat, but when I'm ready to bring them on, just like any other video feed, I can just hit add to stream. So I can either bring them on one at a time, Ellie is on screen now, or I can bring everyone up all at once. So we've got Mattia and Ellie, thank you for uh, joining us in here. They're literally in the next room in the new studio. So 
This is pretty cool to have everyone all in the one spot. But we also have the ability now that everyone is on here, we can either switch between um, soloing someone up full screen, so I can bring Matia up full screen or Ellie up full screen or come back to me. We can also bring up the screen share as well. And we can use these templates across the bottom to change up the layout based on how many people or what video sources you have included here, all just with a click of a button. Now you as the host, you also have the ability to mute your guest's microphone as well. If there's something really loud or distracting going on, you can mute and unmute from down the bottom here. And you can also bring up your guest's computer screen as well, screen share. So we can see here we've got Mattia is sharing her screen. We can click and add that to the stream as well for a crazy weird effect. But uh, <laughs> Let's remove that. But you have the ability to bring in not only your guests, but also their computer screens too. Now, when it's time for your guests to leave, either they can leave themselves or you can actually kick them out and remove them from your stream. So we come down here to the three dots for say Mattia. We have the option to edit her name so we can change the text or we can actually choose kick from studio. So if we click on this one, goodbye Mattia. Uh, we can kick her out, but we can also, if we needed to, if you've got someone that just keeps coming back, just keeps trying to join, you can actually ban from the studio too. So uh, I'm not gonna ban Ellie, but we will remove you from the stream. Thank you for uh, joining us. So now probably the most important thing is going live. So if we wanna go live, we wanna go up to the top right-hand corner here and hit the blue button that says go live. But before you do, you can quickly check that everything is right. So we can see here, we're going only to YouTube. We can hit edit to edit our title and our description and everything, make sure that we've got our privacy settings right. So the same settings that we configured at the start, so we can make sure that that's all good. Again, if we wanna add Facebook or any of our other destinations, we can select those up here too. But that's all looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and hit go live. It's gonna confirm that we're ready to go live. Let's go live now. And now it says up in the top left-hand corner that we are live. So we have our peace of mind that it's all working. We also have a big end broadcast button up in the top right-hand corner. Okay, we can see at the top here we have two people watching. We also have the comments coming through. And again, to feature this comment, so from Ellie here, I can just click on this and that will be featured on screen. And to hide it, we just click on it and it's gone. And one other really cool feature in StreamYard while you're live is the StreamYard giveaway tool. So this is how you can run giveaways, contests, competitions, all from within StreamYard. Now to do this, you do need to open up a new tab. So we're gonna go to the website streamyard.com forward slash giveaway. And again, you can set this up before or you go live, but you will have to have your broadcast created. So if you're still logged into StreamYard, you wanna then choose your broadcast. So we've got here our test live stream. And then the way this will work is that we can either randomly draw from anyone that is commenting in the chat if we leave this empty, or we can ask people to enter something specific to be in the draw. So if we ask people to type in hashtag PV for primal video, we can then choose start collecting comments. That's then gonna tell us how many people have typed that into the chat. We can see here we've got two entries in the draw. Two people have typed in hashtag PV. Then we're ready to run the draw and see who the actual winner was. We can just hit draw. And that's gonna go through and pick from either myself or Ellie, the only two people that typed it into the chat, and it is going to pick a winner. Now the beauty of this is you can actually be screen sharing in StreamYard this screen as well, this web page, So that you can actually incorporate that as part of your live stream. So this is a really great way to drive deeper engagement and interaction with your followers. And once you're done with your live stream, you just wanna to head to the top right-hand corner, hit the end broadcast button. It's going to confirm that you do want to end the broadcast. So click on that and it's gonna take a few seconds and then the broadcast has been stopped. From here, you can come up to share and we can download the recording of that entire broadcast or we can embed and share that out directly from here too. Or we can go over and view it on whatever platform that we were live on. And again, this is a great tool, not just for live streaming, but also for creating pre-recorded videos too. Having access to all these tools and be able to switch different camera angles and things all at your fingertips. So that is a complete StreamYard tutorial. Now, if you wanna see how StreamYard stacks up against some of the other top live streaming software right now, then check out the videos linked on screen, whether you're on Mac or PC. I'll see you in there.